हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एक्सप्लोर फिजिक्स लेट्स एक्सप्लोर होप यू ऑल आर टूइंग फाइन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी व्हिच वी यूज इन मॉडर्न टाइम्स वी यूज इट इन आर होम्स इंडस्ट्रीज एंड फॉर ट्रांसपोर्ट पर्पजेज ऑल्सो इन होम्स वी यूज इट फॉर लाइटिंग द बल्ब ट्यूब लाइट्स एल or to operate the fans and different electric equipments for heating purposes in industries we use it to operate or to run big machines in transport we use it to run electric trains so we have a big use or we have the wider use of this form of energy that is electricity have you ever did this activity where you have uh, you know used a plastic comb or plastic ruler and small bits of paper if you recollect if you bring the plastic ruler or the comb next or near to those bits of papers nothing will happen but if you just rub it against your dry hair or the cloth these bits of paper are going to be attracted are going to be attracted towards that plastic comb or ruler why does this happen because the first it was electrically neutral the plastic ruler when we rubbed it or due to friction it has acquired the electric charge and because of that electric force the bits of paper are attracted to this plastic ruler or comb so what exactly is the charge okay so what is charge it's a basic physical property of a matter which causes it to get attracted or get influenced by electric and magnetic field so it's a basic physical properties of matter which causes it to be affected by electric and magnetic fields we have mainly two types of charges one is positive charge and the second is negative charge so what is positive charge if you have a glass rod and you rub it against silk cloth by convention it will take the positive charge if you have an ebonite rod and you rub it against a woolen cloth by convention it will also acquire the negative charge so there are two types of charges positive and negative charges in the lower classes also you have studied about like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other right you if you recollect there was an activity where we have two similar kind of charges let's assume we take two uh, same uh, positive charge glass rods or two ebonite rods if you, we are bring we are going to bring them closer they're going to repel positively charged glass rod and one more positively charged glass rod if you are going to bring them closer they are going to repel because like charges repel same thing will happen if i'm going to bring one ebonite rod which is already acquired negative charge closer to one more positive uh, negatively charged ebonite rod if i am going to bring them closer they are going to repel each other again it proved that like charges repel each other whereas if i'm going to bring one positively charged glass rod closer to one negatively charged ebonite rod they are going to attract each other so this shows that like charges repel each other whereas unlike charges attract each other so what did we discuss till now electricity what is electricity where do we use it what are charges what is charge what are different type of charges how does the plastic comb plastic ruler or the ebonite rod or the glass rod acquire the charge that is the positive or negative charge depending upon the
substance whether it is glass plastic or the ebonite so it means due to friction any object can acquire the charge but how does it happen we are going to discuss that now so what happens students there are if you ever heard in chemistry free electrons so you know uh, there are few electrons which are loosely bound with the nucleus which are not uh, strongly bound with the nucleus and they revolve in the last outermost orbit of the atom they are, they jump from one atom to another in a substance or in a material they are able to conduct the electricity and that's why they are called the conductors also so what are conductors yeah what are conductors the substances through which light uh, sorry electricity can easily pass through so the substances which allow the electric current to pass through them are called conductors all the metals graphite carbon the form of carbon is a conductor our human body is also a good conductor of electricity so the free electrons are found there where they are loosely bound with the nuclei and they jump from one atom to another and that's how they conduct the electricity there is one more form so these are conductor substances and the other kind of substances are called insulators so what are insulators the substances which you do not allow the light to sorry which do not allow the electric current or electricity to pass through them so these are called insulators paper dry wood thermocol uh, are different examples of insulators so we have conductors which allow the electric current to pass through them and the insulators are the substances which do not allow the electric current to pass through them and in, in conductors mainly happens because of electrons so we discussed about the conductors and insulators also the main factors are the free electrons which jump from one atom to another atom that is all about conductors and insulators so let's come to the main point now what is electricity or what is electric current before that i would like to explain you uh, static and current electricity we are going to start uh, study in this uh, chapter electricity about the current electricity so we have two type of static current or static and static electricity sorry and current electricity so static as the name suggests static means stationary which will not move or at rest current means moving so static electricity or electric uh, electricity means where the charges are not moving they are static like for example when we just spoke about these rubbing thing there are also static electricity it was there but it was static stationary current electricity when the charges move this static electric, electricity the lightning in the on the thunderstorm when it happens so lightning also is the form of uh, you know example of static electricity current electricity when the charges are moving where electric current is flowing like the electric current comes in our houses that is because of current electricity here the charges move here the charges are static or at rest so that is about static current and electric uh, no, sorry static electricity and current electricity uh, you know you, if you have the inflated balloon you just rub it against any dry uh, surface you can stick it to the wall also that is also an example of static current or static electricity where the charges are not moving so let's come to our topic electric current what what is electric current so the charges when they move they constitute electric current so what is electric current the 
charges in motion you know the charges in motion constitute or make electric current the conventional direction of electric current is from positive to negative this is the conventional direction of flow of electric current why was it uh, that because in the beginning when it when it was you know discovered that time they didn't discover about the, they didn't discover electron that's one more you know particle which is electron so they thought that the conventional direction of electricity is from positive to negative whereas the electrons flow because electrons really are released from negative uh, electrode the flow of electrons are from negative electrode or negative side of the terminal but the conventional direction of electric current is taken to be from positive to negative terminal and the charges in motion when the charges are moving or are in motion is called electricity or electric current is flowing in an in a conductor what how do you represent it we usually represent it by the symbol i and it's if you just have to if you have to define electric current that is i is equal to q by t where q is the charge i have told you that is the charge flow going of flow of charge and this is the time taken so q by t is i the si unit is ampere or a capital a ampere starts with small a. ampere or capital a so i is equal to q by t is the formula i can also give you the you know the unit definition of ampere if i'm going to put you know that this is one ampere i instead of q i can write one coulomb because the unit of charge is coulomb small c again coulomb or simply capital c so one coulomb by time is 1 second this is called unit definition of electric current and you can also define what is 1 ampere equals to so 1 ampere if you just see is the current flowing in a circuit or in a conductor when where the charge flowing is 1 coulomb and the time it flows is 1 second or when the charge of 1 coulomb flows in a circuit for 1 second the electric current is said to be 1 ampere this is called the unit definition of electric current what is 1 ampere equals to 1 c by 1 sec so the thing is you have to include in your definition this ampere this coulomb and then seconds also so i'm again defining it that when 1 coulomb of charge flows in a circuit or in a conductor for 1 second the electric current flowing through it is said to be 1 ampere how do we measure electric current by a meter it is always connected in series in a circuit always it is connected in series yeah so this is all about the electric current its formula its symbol its unit definition its si unit this 1 by c by 1 sec that is uh, ampere is equal to c by s or second here this is also c by sec is also call it alternate unit so alternate unit of electric current is coulomb by second a meter is the instrument used to measure the amount of electric current flowing in a circuit which is always connected in series there is one it is usually i'll be telling you how the electro electric components are shown in a circuit so this a meter is shown by a there is one more instrument which is called galvanometer galvanometer 
which actually detects the flow of current in a circuit whether the current is flowing in a circuit or not so we have the galvanometer for that where, where how much amount of electric current is flowing in it can be measured by a meter so galvanometer is again one instrument electric equipment which only detects the flow of electric current in a circuit this is all about the electricity or electric current now one more thing uh, you know about this electric current is we have the circuit i'll be showing you a simple circuit diagram before that i'll be showing you telling you all the you know symbols or how do you represent in a circuit all the components before that i'll tell you what is open circuit and two closed circuit so open circuit when the circuit is off no electric current is flowing through it no electric current whereas when we say closed circuit means it is on so it is me it means that electric current is flowing so if in like we have the switch if you switch it on the circuit completes itself and then we say it's a closed circuit when we switch off the uh, you know any switch or any plug or key that time the it is uh, you know the circuit is not complete and it is off and there is no electric current flowing in it so always remember open circuit means no electric current flowing closed circuit means electric current is flowing i'll be showing you uh, the i'll be giving you rather the examples for different components how do we represent them first the bulb you know it, it can, i can show the bulb like this also i can show the bulb like this in a circuit i can also show it like this in a circuit i can show in this way closed circuit if it's a switch or a key i can show it like this if it's this is open so if i'm going to close it so this is the switch i'm going to put it like this this is closed key close circuit or through a key this is a switch or this is a key open means this so no current is flowing this way or i can simply show it like this so this is this means it's an open circuit this is closed circuit where the current is flowing so this is a closed circuit and here this is open circuit no current is flowing so if you see here there is one dot so that's why closed circuit for for a resistance wire will show like this for a uh, rheostat if i'm going to say there is a, you'll uh, go to the lab and then you'll get to know the rheostat can be shown like this tapping it's a variable resistance or this way also we can show we can show it like this also it's an arrow here so this is a rheostat uh, we have for a meter we can show like this for a galvanometer it is shown like this for a voltmeter which is used i'm going to explain you what is electric potential so there you'll get to know voltmeter will show like this so there are these are few examples uh, most of the things we have shown yes uh, for the cells yeah for cells we use it like for any cell which you're going to so one big line and one small line small line shows negative this is eighth and this is positive terminal we show the cell like that we show uh, i'm going to come back here again so here we show this was eighth nine battery we can show like this battery of say three cells so it's a battery this is positive this is negative positive negative the longer line is positive the other is negative so it was a cell 
any dry cell and you have seen it and this is a battery of cells so this is all about uh, you know we have uh, most of the things i have shown as we come across few things more it will be clearer to you so these symbols i'm going to use it for drawing a circuit diagram a simple electric circuit if i'm going to show you simple electric circuit where I have used only say one cell, one key, I am using one key also, one switch or key. So here it is closed means current is flowing through it. I have, uh, what should I add here, uh, one uh, say bulb. So we have one electric bulb here, can be shown like this. And we have one ammeter. I'll show this one ammeter. This is positive, I told you negative. This is positive and this is negative. So this is a simple circuit. It's a simple basic circuit where we are using one cell. I may change it with battery. One electric bulb, one key and one ammeter because there's a dot in it. So it's a closed circuit, current is flowing. If there is, if I'm going to remove this dot, it's an open circuit, no current is flowing in it. So these are a few things which you are going to remember. I'm going to explain you a few more terms like electric potential, like uh, Ohm's law, resistance and everything in the next class. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy and a very big thank you to you. Bye-bye. Take care.